Hey, what up everybody? This is J. Tom Gunter, owner of Grapes and Sand Publishing. As you can see, there's wine in my glass. Welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday in which I... And we back, baby. <laughs> what up? This is J. Tom Gunter, owner of Grapes and Sand Publishing. Uh, as you can see, there's wine in my glass. Welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday. And, and today, you know I'm definitely doing a review. Uh, by the way, this is sponsored by Black Vines. Um, shout out to them over there for uh, providing the wine. You know, for Wine Wednesday for February, I I highlight black owned labels, and so I definitely have one today. Um, and I'm very I can't wait to get into this because this is a wine that I've been wanting to try for quite some time, and I've been hearing nothing but good things. Um, and so, like, I, I'm I'm looking to get into this wine definitely. Uh, before I do though, for everybody who's been rocking with me thus far who's been like sitting here uh over the last couple years listening to all these uh reviews i appreciate you please continue to rock with me I, I have more stuff coming this year and for the brand new people of course please engage with me in the comment section please hit me up uh dm me if you have any wine questions um i am starting a lot of new things and i want you guys to be part of this journey i want us to grow together so with that being said you're not here for all that you're here for the wine Let's get into it. Thanks, Fern, again for this wine. I am talking about J. Moss Cabernet Sauvignon at a Napa. Uh, this is the Me Lane Rutherford uh, Napa Valley 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon. You guys can see that. Nice little J. Moss right there. So I've been excited about this because there's only a few black winemakers in Napa, um, and he's one of them. And this is James Moss. James Moss is interesting. He's uh, from Texas originally, kind of like, um, kind of like Theo uh, from Theopolis, uh, from Texas originally. Came over here, was already making wine uh, over there. Came over here and got even more of the bug and decided he wanted to do uh, Cabernets. Does some other stuff over there too, but like focus on Cabernets uh, from different areas in Napa. So uh, yeah, um, that's what this is all about. I'm excited to get into it. If you go on YouTube, you can find one of his older, like one of his videos from 10 years ago. And I was just like, oh yeah, I already know this guy's passionate about wine. So anyway, let's get into it. Uh, on the nose. Oh, by the way, James Suckling gave this 92 points. So you know me. I want to see if it's either, if it's below or higher. And I'll be, I'm not going to lie. If it's good, it's good. So let's get into it. On the nose. So I get black cherry. I get a little bit of cedar notes, like a little bit of like um, kind of um, caramel cedar notes, caramelized cedar notes. I'm also getting some cassis here. There's a bit of like a cinnamon spice going on here too on the nose. Fleshy black plum here too. Some clove. Clove is actually starting to really jump out at the more I uh, kind of swirl this. A little bit of like a uh, sweet tobacco. And wet soil is actually starting to give me that kind of Bordeaux-ish uh, wet soil that I always talk about. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in the palate. This is young, but this is kicking. It's definitely showing its fruit. This is a full body uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is not for the faint of heart. If you like light body, medium body wines, it's worth a try, but you're not gonna understand this because you're, you're, this is for a full body palate in my opinion. This is beautiful wine. Elegant, um, you get to the fruit immediately up front. Um, definitely getting some of that black cherry kind of cassis note up front. Um, as it transitions to the mid palate, I'm getting this like cocoa nibs, like uh, cocoa chocolate, uh, but darker, like on the higher level of cacao, more like a little bit of a bitter. I would say more around 70% cacao here. Some coffee grounds, third quarter to the finish, uh, long, very long finish, great round chewy tannins. Uh, acid is medium. Yeah, medium. Mm. This is a, I mean, this is a beast of a, a Cabernet. 
Rutherford just tends to do that. Uh, Rutherford fruit for whatever reason. Big, bold, doesn't play around, doesn't mince, mince words. That's what this cab is all about. This is showing so well. And I think I could even lay this down for like another eight to ten years and it will be seen even more. Um, that club I'm catching a little bit more in the third quarter too. There is that like earthy, no, earthy note that kicks in the third quarter too. So basically you got fruit, then you get a little bit of earth and other uh, vari variables. Um, and then this long, long finish that just makes this wine amazing. Um, okay, so my score, right? So it was 92 from James Suckling. Uh, normally I'm a little bit below uh, some of these critics, but I got to be honest, um, this is $84 on his website. Um, this is punching way above its weight class. This is actually a deal in my opinion. I say this is about $140, $150 bottle of uh, Cabernet from Napa. And I would rank this. This is a 93 point plus point um, Cabernet in my opinion. This is outstanding. Um, any of the big bold cab lovers that want to try something that is black owned, this is what you need to be looking at. There's only a couple of them that I know about that I just really, really dig. Um, this is one of those. This is one of those. Um, um, yeah, got, go out and grab the bottle of this. Check it out. And uh, other than that, um, stay tuned. It's a Vibe is coming very, very soon. I'm going to be dropping that uh, that uh, cookbook, uh, Armando Tam being the chef and cook and I being the psalm uh, who pairs all the wines with all his, uh, uh, with all his dishes. And also, uh, I have... My, um, these are the not these in the night poetry book that's dropping uh, mid February because it's Black History Month and I just want to reflect what's been going on in my life in the last two years, what I've been thinking about as far as Black culture and who we are um, as a people. I feel like this is time for me to kind of release this because uh, I've been writing a lot of it and I, this is my first time being able to just deliver it. So um, it is what it is. Like it or hate it, it's coming out this month so uh other than that guys i hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful week i hope this is like the perfect episode to get you over the hump and question of the day um ah so this is not related to wine this is black history month i i love art uh you know visual art who's your favorite black artist again i hope you guys are having a wonderful week until next time guys cheers